everybody and welcome to Children's Church this morning. Hello Sue, how are you? Hi Christine, I'm fine thanks. I'm really excited about Children's Church this morning. I can't wait to join in. That's great, let's get started. Maybe we could share a prayer together with Hannah first. I'd like that, Christine. It's amazing to know that we can talk to God and tell him what's on our mind. I if you want, I just want to bless your blessing. He always bless you and keep you. Make his face on upon you and be gracious to you. And turn this face to you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you, Hannah. Now the children are going to share their prayers and memory verses with us. Trust the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Luke 1 verse 7. For nothing is impossible with God. It's impossible with God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, verse 13. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Luke chapter 1, verse, verse 37. For nothing is impossible with God. I think it's impossible with God. Luke 1, verse 37. That was brilliant. Can we sing next? I love to sing praises to God. So do I. Don't forget to join in and do the actions. great to sing our praises to God. I think it's time for the Bible story. Next, what's it about this week? It's Martha telling us how Peter escaped from prison. Right, we'd better all settle down then and get ready to listen. Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the story of Apostle Peter, who was a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is called the Great Escape. It's a jailbreak. Not like the one you know from the movies where prisoners escape from prison, but this was a supernatural escape that only God could do. Do you remember some stories of Peter in the Bible when he was with Jesus? This is the same Peter who walked on water with Jesus in a storm and the same Peter who had pretended that he did not know Jesus when Jesus was going to be crucified. So King Herod Agrippa 
did mean things to the Christians. He even had some of them killed. So to please the angry people, Peter was thrown into a high security prison where 16 guards were ordered to guard him. There was no way of escape whatsoever. While Peter was in prison, his friends in the church gathered in their home to pray for him. That night, an angel appeared into the high security prison and woke Peter up saying, Get up and follow me. Peter's chains fell off and he followed the angel. Peter thought he was dreaming. He walked past all the guards and the iron prison doors swung open by themselves. Peter followed the angel. After they walked into the city, the angel just disappeared. Peter looked around and nobody was there. So Peter walked to his friend's house nearby, not knowing his friends were praying for him inside. Peter knocked on the door. A servant girl came to the door and asked, Who is it? Peter answered, It is me, Peter. The servant girl recognized Peter's voice and ran to the others and excitedly said, It is Peter! It is Peter at the door! They did not believe her. When they finally opened the door, they were shocked to see Peter standing there. They quickly shut the door and they all praised God together, thanking God for answering their prayers. Peter told them all that had happened. And that is the story of how Apostle Peter was supernaturally amazingly saved by God from a high security prison. Even today, many Christians are bullied and persecuted and locked up in prison for sharing about Jesus. Just like Peter's friends who prayed for him when he was in prison, can we also pray for Pastor Chi Yun who is a prisoner in Vietnam because he shared about Jesus he was imprisoned. You can pray for Pastor Chi Yun and his family. Remember, when you pray, God will answer your prayers. So let us now pray for all our Christian brothers and sisters who are suffering and persecuted and many locked up in prison. Remember, amazing and supernatural things happen when we as Christians pray for each other. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank God for this wonderful day. Thank God that we can come together, Father God, as um, so many school children of Lord, to praise and worship your name online. Lord, we pray for the first use of church, Father Lord, you can't come together. You can't come together physically or online, oh Lord. I pray, Lord, you help them. I pray for the people who are victims of violence, Father God, who are abused every day, Christians who are bullied, Father God. Children who can't go to school because of their faith. I pray you'll help the persecutors to church, O Lord. I pray you'll answer their prayers and answer our prayers. Thank you for being there, Lord. I pray you deliver them. Just as you delivered Peter, Father God. I pray you will help them. And I pray they will stand strong in their faith and they'll trust in your love. And I know you will deliver them. Because you because you are for them, not against them. And you protect them in everything they do. Help them, O Lord. In your name, I ask and pray. Amen. Did you enjoy that story, Sue? I did, and now it's time for the memory verse with Ben. So listen really carefully, and you might get a prize. Need to learn this week's memory verse? Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Should we say it all together then? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean 
on your own understanding. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Remember to send in your video to Aqua and you will receive a prize at your door. Well done everyone. Now, how about another chance to praise God with a song? Get ready everyone. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. I think the prayer of pride of Hebron should share some prayers with us. Let's see. Hi, and not to and the Lord the Lord and 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 the Lord Amen. Amen. Let's pray. God, help us to trust you more and help everyone else in the world, Lord, even people that still don't believe in you. Please, please help them trust in you, Lord, more than they ever have done before. Amen. Thanks for that, everyone. I do love praying together. So do I. I think we'll have another prayer next from Jack. Good morning, children. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping us safe during this pandemic. Thank you for looking after us and keeping our friends and family safe. Thank you for being our provider and protector uh, during this time. Thank you for the freedom that Paul experienced by your Holy Spirit. Help us to experience the same freedom. Keep us safe and well and look after us until we meet again. In your name I pray. Amen. Thanks, Jack. You know, I think that's all we have time for this week. Oh, no, is it? The time always goes, seems to go so fast. But we'll be back again next week, so don't forget to share your prayers and memory verses and song actions with us. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Children's Church. Please click on the thumbs up below to say you like us. And then click on the subscribe button. The subscribe button is free and if you click on the little bell, you'll be told when we're on again. Thanks for watching. Bye.